All right, thank you for attending this meeting, everyone. Today we are addressing the issue of minimum wage and how we as an organization can address the growing concern of whether or not employees should be paid more than the federal mandated rate and what are some of the hardships organizations such as ourselves might face um, if minimum wages are drastically increased. Our HR department has done research over the past couple of weeks and we've drawn up a solution that we think would be best a best fit for our organization. We are, unaware, we are aware that as an organization that the federal minimum wage level of $7.25 is, is not a sustainable wage for employees to live with the current cost of living. Um, employees would have to work at least 100 hours a week in order to accommodate for the average cost of living within, within the United States. We understand that that is not reasonable to ask of other people and by the end of the week they would be completely exhausted and they would not be of any benefit to themselves or for us. However, we are also aware that raising the minimum wage as a nation to a level such as $15 an hour could have damaging effects on small businesses and lead to increases in wage disparities, cuts in the number of hours worked per week, cuts in the number of employees that can even work within the organization due to budgets, um, or pay cuts for different levels of the organizational chart. We don't want any of those issues, and so we've drawn up a solution. Additionally, if medium to large organizations such as ourselves make the decision independently to increase our minimum wage far above the rest of the market, uh, similar effects could occur. Therefore, we as an organization do not want to raise our minimum wages so high that it shuts out other organizations and creates economic hard hardships such as high unemployment rates. We want to be as competitive, competitive as possible without causing disparities among others, which is why we are recommending that our organi organization raise the minimum wage offered to entry-level employees in order to create the perfect balance of meeting organizational objectives by keeping costs low while also having quality talent. We want to retain the employees that we have and attract the employees that we do not currently have but want to have. Over the past few weeks, the Human Resources Department has come up with a solution specific to our organization. We are recommending to increase the minimum wage from what is the federal standard of $7.25. However, we do not recommend increasing the minimum wage so high, such as $15 an hour, that it would cause these economic hardships that we previously mentioned. Our recommendation is to establish the organization's minimum wage to be $13 an hour. Our reasoning and our reason for making this decision in it is in an effort to stay competitive with other organizations without having to cut the number of hours worked by employees or the number of employees working within our organization. Uh, with the revenue increases over the past year, we have been blessed with the opportunity to make this decision without having to make any of these cuts. As the cost of living in this country continued continues to rise, we need to be responsible for accommodating the needs of lower level employees. A raise in the mandated minimum wage could lead to several organizations having to make layoffs. However, we as an organization can be prepared now for these mandated raises by, by paying our employees higher compared to the rest of the market. We want to stay competitive uh, with our competition. However, we do not want to shut out small businesses uh, in an effort to not create economic hardships. Thank you again for attending this meeting, everyone. Uh, if anyone has any further questions, please contact me via email or contact the Human, Resor Human Resources Department. We would be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you again, everyone.